We will be announcing the winners of our recycling challenge in 24 hours. That's tomorrow. We'll put out a video and announce the winners of this great challenge. Got a bottle in here I'm starting to work on. Could be an old mason. That's why I'm going to spend the time searching for that one because she's buried deep. But I just popped out this. Looks like it would have been a glass lid, but look at the color of that glass. Great piece. Well, that would have been a very cool Art Nouveau type bottle. Look at the design on that and the shape where she's got a nasty crack in the back. All right, pull out a cobalt blue while I was at it. I just picked up three really cool pieces of tile, three different shapes. And I don't usually grab them because I don't really have a collection of them yet. But because I dipped down to grab them, look what's shown up in the back there. Can you see that little bit of red? These things finally drop and land on top. And that's generally where I find these guys. And that's a nice white marble with some red in it. How about that? Just sitting right on top. So I look underneath, I look here to see if they drop, and that's generally where I can pick up a few marbles. Fantastic. I'll show you the tiles in a second. You just never know when you pick up a piece of pottery or something that just looks interesting. It's on the other side. I would have preferred to have a little bit more of this guy together. But that's enough to take home. Sometimes it's actually kind of soothing to stop and wait for the tide flow to remove some of this mud and see what's what's lurking underneath. I thought I caught a quick flash of a small bottle, and I think that's it starting to show itself. If I had any patience, I'd sit here for a while and just watch it slowly appear, but I'm always in a rush to find something good. Let's see what that is. Yeah, it's a cool little bottle. It's a nice little design. Oh, it's got a little crackling design in the front, international extract. That's a cool little bottle. Anything else showing itself? I'm gonna do a few more scrapes. I think I just pulled out a brass script letter. Maybe a G? I'm not really sure, or it's just part of a design. But I got a good feeling about this little swipe right here. I have a beautiful color on this piece. Who the heck knows what it was? Here's a piece I forgot I found with my metal detector last week. It certainly looks like it's got a tool quality to it. I'm not sure where the handle would have attached because there's no real hole through it, but it might have broken off some kind of chisel. It is steel, I believe, or iron. This was another piece I came across that I found last week. It's actually rubber, and it's a rubber tank, I believe, from the 40s or 50s. Interesting little toy. I've never found a rubber toy before. Back at our favorite spot. And it turns out it might be a beautiful day. Yeah, someone's talking to my brother. And I'm gonna play. What's on the end of the string? Ah. Oh wait. He just threw a piece of pottery at me that he must have liked. Oh, look at that. 
so she made me walk all the way back. I'm gonna take a picture of it. Oh uh, yeah, it's a pretty mercury. It's a decent shape. It's a 40 something, I think, right here on the edge. Hmm. I took the rest of that windy noise out of this, but this was a really awesome piece of pottery that I found right on the break of the water. I knew I might be onto something because this section brought up a couple of really old pieces of brass. Maybe two of them. And then on my third hit, a good signal. And I've seen these guys before. Look at this nice lead soldier. I'm thinking she's got a little more age to her than some of the older ones I've found. I like that. There's a little bit of the paint left on them. Looks almost Civil War-ish with his outfit and he lost his head what's with all these things i'm finding with no heads i don't know what he's got in his hand there but something he's looking regal now these are some serious bones look at these bad boys Oof. look at you Wow, it's not often I see these guys on the beach. <clears throat> and there's some age to these things. Now I just have to find the skeleton key that fits in this. What do we have right here? It's not super old because I can see the seam coming already up through the lip, but it's old enough and there might be some embossing on it, but look at how deep it's buried. And what's the potential that this thing is not broken and the ground is super hard. So let me see if I can get this thing out of here. It's got some potential. the old man all the way down there. 
and I caught up into a little section with some glass showing through. A couple of these bits and pieces always seem to collect together. Got another piece sitting here. That's a little on the older side. But then I saw this piece here. I'm not sure if it's an old insulin bottle, which it could be. It's got a strange little top to it, but it's been out there a while. So I'm gonna take that little bat boy home. I think it's pretty cool. What do you think? Think there's any bubbles in it? Looks like a decent one. There might be some embossing there, but I'm not sure. I'll pack it up. Yeah, you found a nice little bottle. Maybe. really meant to do a lot of metal detecting today, but I can't help but scan and instantly start mud larking. It's another potential bottle. Not super old, because I can tell by the top again. But I do like all the barnacles on it. Maybe there's some embossing, or maybe not. It's worth bringing home and cleaning up. I think it's going to be a slick, but it might have some nice color to it. Let's see. This bottle is a little harder to tell how old it is. It does have some bubbles in there. We have some embossing. I haven't looked it up yet. Looks like two names in script. Cantrell and Cochrane, maybe? But as you follow the seam up, if I can now follow this to find the seam. There, there's the seam. It comes up to the lip, but definitely does not go through. And you can see where the deformation in the glass here is. That is an applied lip. It's a tiny little chip in the lip, lip chip. But other than that, this has a little more age to it. You can see the bubbles in it. I'm gonna look up the script and see what it tells me. That's perfectly good mini pot just popped out. And there's nothing fancy about it other than it's in perfect shape. Why wouldn't I take it? Now I have a new little mini pot. Find something cool. The chances of looking at something like this and not quickly discarding it as a washer is a million to one. I took a second glance at it. I thought I saw some kind of design on it, and I did. You can see some lettering. That's what keyed me in first. I think there might be the word fraternity. But there's definitely some design on it. And I almost think that says 1923. So this little coin with a hole in it just popped out of the mud. I'd be interested to see what it is when I get home because I can't really make anything out yet. And I don't have my brain with me. Well, actually I do, my phone is here to search Google, but I'm not going to do that right now. I'm going to wait till I get home. That looks really cool. Haha, -ha, we're back to the marbles this week. This guy just popped in. Nice white with some blue-green, greenish in there. Excellent. Hard to leave these behind. They just got great color to it. Nice liquor bottle. Cool top, cool design. I'm just running out of room for all these things.
I may have just pulled out an awesome soda bottle. It is very rare for this high section because they're usually newer bottles. But this one feels like it's got the thickness of a 30s, 40s, and I did see some embossing. So I'm gonna do a quick rinse. I do like what I'm seeing here. Sanitary bottling, some kind of insignia, I don't recognize it. Fluid ounces. Yeah, it's gonna be old enough. It's a great little embossing there. When I clean it up, I'll better be able to see. what that says right there. It's a keeper. Everything here is so muddy, it's really hard to swipe clean anything, but I'm pretty sure this is the back of a utensil. Would it be a spoon maybe or a fork, but I think that's gonna clean up nice. Just can't get the mud off of it right now. That's another pretty little piece that's going to clean up well. It's kind of lead border or something. We're having a great marble week and a great pottery week. It's interesting. Not the worst Indian head penny I've seen come out of here. But she's pretty banged up. Now that's a pretty little clip that I haven't seen one like. I didn't pay attention to this one until I wiped it off, and that is a miraculous medal. I believe that is Jesus right there. A nice little old section. But I think there's another signal. Well, I was right, and this thing was on its edge. It barely made a squeak right underneath that miraculous medal, and there's a 41 silver Washington in decent shape. Nice lower. 15, 20 bucks. Right in the pocket.